Welcome back to the tutorial. In the last video, we um, we linked the two rooms together, the party hall and the main hall. We allowed Sammy to go from one room to the other by using the screen edges. In this video, we're going to clean up a couple of things that we did in that video. Um, the first thing I mentioned was um, there was a walk behind issue where uh, I'm going to run the game and just show what what the issue is, and then uh, and then we'll discuss how to fix it. So here I am in, in the party hall, and if I go up to the top of the screen here, so now I'm at the top, I'm at the landing at the top of the stairs, and you can see that there's, there's at the top of his head, there's a walk behind problem, um, where, where Sammy is being drawn on top of the ceiling, where in reality he should be behind the ceiling. But, but really, that's, that's as a result of sort of an overarching problem, and that is that Sammy's just huge. I mean, he, you know, down here I, I made the comment earlier that Sammy doesn't even reach the top of the table. You know, he's barely taller than the table is down here. But yet, when he goes up to the top of the screen, all of a sudden now he's like, you know, monster size. So it would be, you know, it's what we really should do is make Sammy smaller. As he walks up the stairs, he sort of gets smaller um, and smaller and smaller. So that by the time he gets to the top of the stairs. You know, maybe he's just slightly taller than than the mouse cursor stick man is here. So maybe he, you know, maybe he goes up to the top of the uh, flowers or something like that instead of being such this you know, huge, monstrous looking guy. So that's what that's how we're going to address this problem because if he's smaller, he's actually not going to go up to the top of the screen. So we really alleviate that walk behind area uh, problem. Well, the way that you do that in uh, AGS is really really a neat feature. It's called scaling, and um, it's sort of built in. Um, I'm going to select the walkable areas again from the room, from the main hall. And I'm going to select walkable area 2, which was the walkable area we drew on top of the uh, stairs. Now, I mentioned that, that I made this a separate walkable area uh, for a reason. And, and this is the reason that I did that, is because I want to do, um, there, there's a scaling issue here that I want to address. So what we want to do is we want to say, okay, Sammy, we should, as he walks up the stairs, he should get smaller and smaller up to this point right here at the top of the stairs, which case he should be maybe 65%, let's just say, of his normal size, which you know, I've experimented with that number. 65% would put him about the right proportion uh, up here. So in other words, uh, when he's down here, he should be 100% of his, uh, of his full height. So he, sh he should be drawn normally. And then as he goes up the stairs, he should get smaller and smaller and smaller until finally when he's at the top of the stairs, he's 65% of his total height. Um, let's do that now. If I go over to the, I've got the, pro, the, the walkable area 2 selected, I go over to the properties of that area. And now it says, there's a property here, it says use continuous scaling, and that's set to false by default. Well, this is, this is that property that allows us to do exactly what I was just talking about. So if we set this to true, all of a sudden now we get two new properties that appear that appear. We get min, min scaling level and max scaling level. Well, these two are the two properties that, that define how big he is at the bottom of that walkable area and how big he uh, is at the top. The min scaling level is, uh, well, let's start with the max. The max scaling level is how big he is in a, as a percentage at the bottom of that walkable area. So in other words, he'll be 100% of his normal size when he hits the bottom of that walkable area, which is what we want. But when he gets to the, to the top of the stairs, I said that he really needs to be about 65% of his, of his total size. So that's where you type in 65 here. Now these are sort of flipped um, because they're in, they're in alphabetical order. But this um, this max scaling level is, is actually what happens at the bottom of the walkable area. And this min scaling level is what happens at the top of this walk, at the walkable area, despite their relative order here in the properties window. Again, this is sorted by uh, alphabetically um, here. So, so this will say, let's just see how this works. Let's run the game and demonstrate how this works now. Okay, so as Sammy walks up to the top of the screen, watch him, he'll get smaller. I, I, I'm going to start here. He's 100% of his size here. As he walks up to the top of the stairs, he's getting smaller and smaller, and now he's 65% of his total size, so he's a lot smaller. Um, his head doesn't actually you know, reach the top of the ceiling anymore, which is exactly the behavior that we wanted. However, there's more to this. The, the walkable area that I used to go up the stairs is actually part of the same walkable area. So as I go up the stairs, he's actually going to get smaller and smaller. It was hard to tell because, because of the screen transition. But because all of... Let me switch back to the uh, 
the screen here because all of this here is part of that same walkable area he's actually not going to hit his 65 percent until the very until if sammy would get to the very very top of, the, of this walkable area here which is isn't really what we want so let's fix that by setting this part of the walkable area here as a separate walkable area id so the first thing i'm going to do is clear out this part here that goes up the stairs from this walkable area so just very quickly let me just break it here with the again with the right drag. I'm right I'm right dragging the line draw, which sort of breaks these uh, these two pieces off. And then I'm just going to right fill these pieces to clear them away. So now that walkable area just goes up to the top of the stairs. And I'm going to create a new walkable area that goes the rest of the way up the stairs. And notice that as I draw these walkable areas, each walkable area has its own color. This one is sort of a turquoise. Uh, the last walkable area was a was a green, and then the first one was a blue. So that's just to let you visually keep them separated um, within the editor. Now let's see if I can fill these in. Okay, good. So now I have a separate walkable area. So now let's think about this. Sammy's going to be 100% 100% of the size here. He's going to be 65% of his size here. So he needs to be 65% of his size on these walkable areas as well. So I'm going to go over to the properties of the walkable area, set the scaling level to 65 here, because that way he's just he's just going to be a constant 65% of his size throughout the entire walkable area for the for these um, for these stair pieces. So that's what I want. Let's try that out now. Okay, so now when he walks up to the top of the stairs, now he's 65 percent of his size and then as I walk up the stairs again it'll switch to the next room but just watch it as I do it okay so he stayed 65 percent of his size at the top so that really gives him more of an illusion uh, an illusion of depth to the screen when you can create uh, these walkable areas with with a scaling percentage in there okay great now we want to um, talk about one more thing and that is what I uh, introduced at the end of the last uh, App, uh, um, video where we really want him to be able to finish walking up the rest of the stairs when he leaves the room and then to um, to walk in when he comes in from the party hall to be able to walk down the stairs and in from that way and I'll address that in the next video um, where we will talk about the, um, the, the actual room transitions in the next video so uh, I'll see you then guys